What's up, Chess Familia? Welcome back to the grind. Playing as white, playing the London system. Hopefully you're not getting too much deja vu from these openings. I know I am. <laughs> uh... My plan is actually when I hit a thousand, um, my plan is actually, uh, he spotted it. <laughs> when I hit a thousand, I'll learn a new opening. That's my plan. Gosh, what if I just tried to take here? Oh man, knight f3, but it's just so tempting. So, so tempting. Queen f3, boom takes, boom takes, boom, fork. That would be pretty satisfying to win a bishop this early, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think he's going to go for some shenaniganery. Even then, I could just check, right? Check, takes, takes. Ah, uh, no, but then he just hops back. I think what I'm going to do is just play c3. Yeah, it's so tempting. No, I can't make this work, right? So if, if I play f3 and he jumps to, let's say, anywhere, I'm basically, well, no, because his knight is pinned, so his knight actually can't jump. So you know what? I'm screwed. I'm just going for this. I think he has to, yeah, I think he has to bring his queen out. It's a bit unfortunate. So his knight is no longer pinned. So if he moves his knight, I'm going to be in trouble. Well, no, his knight is still kind of pinned to his queen. Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting for sure. Yeah, if he moves his knight, I can just come in this way. What does that do? Hmm. Is he going to try to kick the bishop or something? Oh, sure, it just blocks this way. Okay, okay. Hmm, that's fine. I guess we could trade off, but maybe it's time to just change plans here. Change, change a uh, course. <laughs> maybe this original plan didn't really work out as expected. I'm going to re-steer this ship and just bring the knight out to f3. I think I've put him in a worse position, uh, if that makes sense. So I think I almost have checked there. Yeah, his knight is pinned. So like e5 is kind of open. Yeah, his knight is still pinned to the queen. So I think if I go e5, I should be able to win some things. I don't know. I'm just going to try this. This is quite the structure here. Yeah. I don't know if he saw that. Ask and it shall be received, I guess. Hmm. 
Wonder if it's actually worth taking here or no. I have a nice check. I have a nice check. I mean, he can block in. Maybe I just take, let him take, and then go for the check. And then I think... I mean, is that good, though? I don't know if that's good or not. I guess I could just castle. Be a good citizen and castle. Just to be really safe here. This check seems kind of pointless because he can just play a pawn. But then even then, like, his pawn structure is not that great if he plays that right. Mm. I feel like I'm just wasting a move if I go there. Okay, so no check for me there. This bishop is very much not doing anything. Just go attack. There's a sort of a weak on here. Yeah, I don't want to get too comfortable. I know I'm up a lot of material and up a queen, but I, I don't want to get too comfortable. That's the thing. I want to get my queen here. Like, scoping this pawn would be pretty nice. Honestly, just trading pieces off here would be, like, really good, too. Just need to trade some pieces off, really. Uh, just move the knight to safety, then I have another decent move here. Okay. Either attack. I think this just wins a bishop. Yeah, his bishop is trapped here. So this just trades off. No matter where his bishop goes, uh, I'm winning it. Oh, he does have that spot, though. Oh, that is a little bit annoying, huh? Oh, dang, I kind of just lost that. That sucks. Hmm, well, that's frustrating.
Dang. Uh, bummer. Oh, I guess I got too comfortable. Well, actually, no. I'm not really losing this piece yet because there's nothing attacking it. So in that case, maybe we just start trading pawns off. Hmm. I need to get my queen on a better square. He's going to attack the knight. I'm going to have to go somewhere. I kind of want to just pop the knight here. Because I feel like I'm going to lose it when he attacks it with one of the rooks anyway. I guess if he attacks it with, say, like his A rook, I can just take two of his pawns here. I don't want to lose this pawn here. If I push up c4, he's winning b2. If I push the a pawn, he's winning. Hmm. Guess I'll just go attack his bishop. It's not really defended by anything. Yeah, I kind of screwed up on that knight move. I got too carried away with getting that knight. Okay. It's a good move by him. I don't want to break open that pawn. Kind of want to protect the C pawn with this rook. This rook's not really doing anything. I think I should have just brought the knight back to c4. That's a really annoying position. <laughs> I'm just going to protect this pawn so I can push up this way. Yeah, I saw that coming. Hmm. That's like the least offensive move here. I think I just have to... Man, I really got my knight in such a horrible spot there. Maybe I can just protect that knight. He's just going to push his pawn this way, though. Do have a check here? Hmm. I'm really getting myself into some hot water. I do have a check, and then I can deliver check next. But then he just runs away real easily. Actually, I do have a check here. It doesn't really accomplish anything, though, because he just moves back. Hmm. Can't even support this piece with anything. Why is this happening to me? Uh, I think I just have to take this pawn. I don't know. I have to take something. Sort of as a consolidation.
my beautiful knight. I don't know. I think that was like the least worst thing that I could have done there. If he blocks in with his bishop, I have a c7. I can basically win his bishop here. I hope he blocks in. That'd be nice. Even if he doesn't, I can still attack both of his bishops. Hmm. Why is that move, huh? Okay, well, we have to start breaking this somehow. I just start going after his pawns or something. He's basically blocked his rooks off from the other from the king side. I mean his whole castle's gone, like, so it's not that bad, it seems. I don't think he can protect both of these pawns. Yeah, I don't think it's like super over for him. It's just going to be really difficult. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has a chance. It's just going to be really hard. Um, I mean, I haven't uh, created like a safety square for my king yet. So there is like a slight chance for a back rank. Um, it's pretty unlikely, but you never know. Yeah, so that wins a pawn. I'll probably look for a g8 check. I'll probably block in with the rook. Uh, and then maybe I can win this pawn next. Or what did I say? Block in with the rook. Block in with the bishop. Words are hard. Yeah, now it's really just kind of a matter of plucking his pieces off one by one. Okay. Particularly phased by that move. Quite the messy game of chess. Could try to block in his bishop. Might be kind of a funny twist. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. Uh, so I'll look for check. Hopefully he blocks in. 
Uh, most likely he'll probably run off. Yeah, that's expected. So now I kind of have to dip here. I'll just say on the safe scores. I guess he has recastled his king. It's just kind of in a really funny way. <laughs> he has built a fortress around his king. <laughs> it's one way to castle. Yep. Not exactly going to fall for that, but all good. Trying to figure out like which way would be better to slide out from. Maybe I go this way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to um I don't want to say that this game is completely won yet because like one bad move can still turn the tide of the game. So still do feel like he has some chance. I can try pinning this pawn and then adding pressure that way. Yeah, I think he's going to just try to run his... Uh, pieces down the king side. So I have to start applying some pressure here. I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do is like pin this pawn here, push up the e pawn, try to capture it that way, and then just continue to try to like open up the center with the rooks here. I think he's going to try to get both of his rooks lined up this way. He's not going to have a way to stop a rookie four. They'll probably have to go back to like c6, I imagine, to stop that. Okay. Well, I don't quite see a threat there. I think what he's going to do is try to um, play, uh, what's the move here? h8. If I play h8 and just look for some trades that way. Oh, and I can't quite go this way, huh? That's really annoying. Hmm. How do I stop h8? Maybe I should have pushed the pawn up. Oh, no, that would have been on passant, right? Yeah, that would have been an en passant move. I can't quite go here. I think I have to go g6 and just attack this pawn. Well, no. No, I can't because... Even if I do that, yeah, how do I stop? Yeah, this is starting to get frustrating. We just have to like sack a rook or something. 
I think I have to like sack a rook, go this way. Take the pawn or something. That honestly might be like a weird move that I have to play. Hmm. I can't quite jump out this way either. I wonder if I just give him en passant here. Maybe I give him the pawn. I think I have to give him the pawn and then push one of the rooks out to protect. Because, yeah, I'll be able to get the pawn pretty easily. Uh, I know this, this position looks maybe easy if you're very good. But I feel like it's either like make or break in this position after he goes rook h8. Yeah, I think I have to give him the pawn. I have to add more defenders over here to h2. I'll play either h8. No, I can't, I can't play that rook move either. No, that's check and it loses the queen. How do I prevent h8? YOLO. I know I spent a lot of time on that one move, but honestly, I just felt like if if I played the wrong move there, it was going to be over for me, so. You could always defend this pawn too, huh? I'm really regretting not playing h4. Yeah, letting him get his rook here was a bit of a problem. Yeah. Well, it's actually okay because he didn't get onto um he didn't get onto h8. There's no threat of this coming in. Which I'm actually happy about. So I feel like I can break open the center here since this pawn is um pinned. I have to play a bit faster here. I'm guessing he'll play bishop c6. Okay. Still pinned. Doesn't really do anything. I think he was hoping I would take with the queen or something.
I see. So he unpins that. Mm, that's fine. We're still trading off here. I'm still winning this pawn. Good spot for the rook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go next? I kind of just want to go trade off uh, these pieces here. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to trade the rooks off on h4. Yeah, I'm really tempted to just try to sack this rook. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if he wants to push these pawns, that's fine. I'm just gonna look for the rook trade here. Just simplify the game. Okay. Almost missed. <laughs> Almost missed that piece. <laughs> How embarrassing would that be? <laughs> okay, this is fine. I actually like this spot. Um, wow, that's quite the move. Mm. I don't think he can quite do what he wants to do there. I don't think he can actually win anything. Oh, the main problem is problem here is that he's going to promote. Hmm. And is it rook second time? I don't want it to be rook second time. I have to go start harassing his pieces somehow. And this situation really sucks. 
Do I have to go like trade these off here or something? Oh my. I did not see that. Oh wow, and then I can't. Oh wow, that's really frustrating. So check. And then I can't take that. Ugh. Dude, really? Oh, that's frustrating, man. Well. <laughs> Well, it's going to be it's going to be a rook versus two bishops. Man. I was just not finding the moves there. It's crazy. I'm surprised he hasn't taken the rook yet. Or I'm surprised he hasn't taken the queen yet. Man, I was just not able to like convert the advantage here. Kind of a theme on my channel. <laughs> no, bro, are you serious? Are you serious? Bro, no way. Oh, man, what a move, bro. I think it's okay, actually. I think he made a... I think he blundered. He should have taken the queen. I have two defenders on F2. I think he kind of blundered that. I know that looked like a really trick move, but honestly, his best bet is probably just taking the pawn here or something at this point. I mean, he has two pieces pointing at my queen. I feel like he has like a very good reason to take it at this point. Yeah. I'm just going to go protect this pawn. Well, you got to do something. <laughs> Maybe I should have went after his other pawn. I guess I just give this to him, huh? I guess he can have it. He's not going to be able to get these, is he? Man, what a wild swing. Well, I'm winning one of these, so... This is good. That was quite the run there. Uh, I think I just run... No. Let me think here. If he takes this pawn, there is a chance. Oh, whatever. I'll just protect one of the pawns. I know he'll probably take this one, but whatever. Wait, he can't even catch it, can he? Oh, yeah, he can't even catch it, so whatever. Yeah. Well, quite the game. Quite the game, man. I don't know. I feel like I got really lucky this game. Um, I think I blundered all this sort of kingside stuff. Um. Anyways. Yeah, I... Yeah, I had a handful of blunders. Uh, I played a lot of bad moves sort of when his rook and his pawn started advancing. I think my biggest mistake, honestly, was just not playing h4 and letting his rook get get down to h3. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the evaluation says. Uh, yeah, let's look.
This ignores an opportunity to prepare the bishop for development. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. Yeah, I liked bishop b5. Uh, so pushing the pawn up there. Oh, sure. I was just trying to maintain my Londonness in this setup here. This permits the opponent to win a knight by adding pressure to a pin piece. Oh, sure. So his... Oh, right. So his knight was pinned, so I could have just added pressure with the pawn. Okay. Didn't really think about it that way. Okay. You ignore an opportunity to win a knight. Okay, I see. Couldn't you just take that, though? Oh, I guess I could just take back, huh? And it's still pinned. Hmm. So it kind of has to come in with the queen, right? Right. So the queen would have been the move there. Yeah, so it sort of unpins his knight. Uh, Unpins the absolute pin. I gotta fix my chair, I'm sinking. Okay. You ignore an opportunity to win a knight by adding a pressure to a pin piece. Okay. Bad move. Man, d5 for like the last three moves, four moves. <laughs> Whoops. Knight f3. Yeah, big blunder there. He kind of went for the trap there. Yeah, from here, I really just should have been able to convert. I think my main mistake here was just not trying to convert faster. Yeah, I don't know. I tried to just trade off pieces as much as I could. Um, Honestly, I, I think more than anything, what was more uh, sort of, of offensive this game was just getting the knight over here and then doing this whole dance. It was just so bad. <laughs> I think I should have just tried going for like pawn pushes or something. Yeah, probably just pushing the pawns up the board and just trying to break his king side. Yeah. Yeah, getting the knight back here was just dumb. Oh, sure. So, so breaking here. Right. On e4. Right. Something like that. That makes sense. Yeah, e4 should have been played a long time ago. I was considering e4 here, but I felt like if he blocked in with the dark square bishop, I, I was just kind of wasting time, wasn't I? All right, so now I'm just forced to move the queen around again. So now queen g3. So we're kind of back where we started from, right? So he can just attack the knight again, right? Rook d7. Alright. E4. Yeah, I missed e4 for way too long. See, I think one of my problems is, is that I like to keep the castled sort of king's pawns, if you will, uh, in front of the king for like as long as possible. And I always have a really hard time breaking this pawn chain here. Even though, like, I don't know, I know there's nothing wrong with pushing this pawn um, because this pawn is not exactly protecting the king, but I feel like it's just like a habit I need to break. I need to get into the habit of knowing that, like, the E and the D pawns are okay to break at some point if you have an advantage, you know, um, and that the F, G, and H pawns are probably more important. So just something I need to think about <clears throat> as I play. F4. Moving the rook to e1. Yeah, I should have went to the uh, e file since he had the light square bishop out here and he could have just harassed me a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Breaking open the center. Yeah, breaking open the center probably would have been better here, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I should have noticed that. Going for the central pawns instead of sort of these outer pawns. Yeah. Mistake. You overlooked an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. You allowed the opponent to win a temple by threatening a queen. 
Uh, sure. Oh, now this pawn's under attack, too. Mm. I see. Yeah, lots of uh, misplays with the e-pawn for me this game. Oh, sure. Attack the bishop. Let's be real, he was going to play h2 if he played h8. Right. And then where do I go? e6. Yeah, let me back up. Let me back up a little bit. I want to see how this game would have played out if he played what I thought he would have played. So, what did I end up playing? This pawn move. Um, so, I was considering playing something like g6. So if he went h8, like what move do I really have here next? So queen takes, sure. I was expecting him to do this like battery situation. So will be my next move. Uh, What is that? Yeah, see, I feel like this rook sacrifice had to happen at some point. Yeah, oh, and right, that pins this pawn too, so. King e8. Yeah, so how do I deal with this h8 situation? See, because my, um, my king was cut off this way. So I was just figuring if he got two rooks in the h-file, like, it was all over for me, you know? Even then, the engine says I have, like, such an advantage, though. This was a, just a bad move that got me into, like, a kind of a hairy situation. I mean, I was thinking about this rook sacrifice so much. I felt like it just had to be done, as weird as it was. Um, to basically, yeah, oh right, I would have per permitted this fork. Yeah, so I could have won a rook that way. Yeah. As much as I love the idea of sacrificing a rook, I don't like the idea of playing with bad principles. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid uh, sacrificing pieces. I'm trying not to make a habit out of it. Even if it looks like a really juicy move. This was a mistake, huh? What should have been the play here? E5. Really? Why? Why does that not just lose a piece? Why, why wouldn't he just take that? I don't understand. Bishop E7. Oh, come on. Let's be real. He would have taken that, bro. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of rook sacking going on <laughs> in this engine analysis. Yeah, I felt like he would have been winning the queen at least. Um, and a rook if he had taken the g3 pawn here. Because he had the bishop and the rook staring here. So, let's just say. Something like that. Yeah. Man, the rook was just dying to get sacrificed. That's so funny. Wonder. I was just I was wanting to trade pieces off here. That's all I was going for. Remember, this is such a bad move. That's crazy. What I was expecting was rook uh h8 next. And then it's like, what do I do? You know? I felt like I was sacking a queen at this point. Well not sacking, but losing a queen, rather. That was such a bad idea. How does it lose a rook if I get a rook back, though? That's what I don't, I don't understand about this coach uh, suggestion here. Is it, isn't it? it not considered a loss if you get the piece back? I just didn't know. I didn't know what to do here. Eh. 
Yeah, there was so many just bad moves here. Like the queen to a7 was just, that was a bit of a Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why he didn't just take the queen here. That that was on him. Yeah, then he has to move his bishop out of the way. What's crazy is that this is a perfectly even position. I don't know. I think he made a really big blunder. He gave me a really big chance by not taking my queen here. Yeah, because we, we basically came down to like a pawn race. Whereas he could have had two bishop versus one queen, so he could have at least had some chance there. So I know that pin on the queen uh, looked like really tempting, but I don't know. If you have the chance to trade your rook off for the queen, it just seems like you just kind of have to go for it. Looks like he kind of fell for the bait here. And it was basically GG. Yeah, so fun game. Uh, I found some tactics, like with winning the queen with the bishop at the start there. But uh, I just had trouble converting the advantage and maintaining the advantage. And um, yeah, this is probably one of the first games I've seen in the engine analysis where it just really recommends like sacrificing... Uh, high value pieces, but um, I'm trying to think of what I would have really done different. I think if I was to just go back and play one move like really different, I would have not put the knight into his territory and trying to go for like goofy captures there because that knight got trapped and then it was basically useless. Um, and then I would have captured his e6 pawn with the queen instead of going for this h7 pawn that was doing nothing. So I I was just looking at capturing free stuff, but I did I kind of failed to realize that his e6 pawn was basically loose and taking the center pawn would have been much more valuable. So yeah. Anyways, GG. It was a fun one handful of mistakes but it was still fun thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one